Hi, and thanks for dropping by Visual Art Photography. I'm Ray Scott. You know, there's a really interesting thing going on in your neighborhood at this very moment. And we're talking about architecture, we're talking about texture, we're talking about design, we're talking about color, we're talking about all kinds of possibilities. But the thing is, you have to look up. We're talking about roof lines. You can take really interesting, actually some pretty incredible photos if you look up and you look at the design of buildings. Now, we've done a couple of videos in the past where we were in the city and we were looking at uh, typical architecture from the downtown core, that kind of thing. Well, we'll include that a little bit today, but we're looking more at homes and dwellings, things like that. And some of the things that you see it can be incredible and you've got this abstraction by extraction kind of thing going on and it can be a lot of fun. That's what we're looking at today. For lots of my urban photography, I choose to walk around with what I call my walk around lens, which is a 24 to 105 millimeter uh, zoom lens. It works really, really, really well. But you know, sometimes you want a little bit more than that from a wide angle standpoint, or you want more uh, distance, you want a longer thing. So sometimes I carry around my 70 to 200 millimeter and it comes in really handy. And I'm gonna show you a shot or two that I took with that lens as well. So you want a wide variety of lenses depending on how in tight you are, things like that. All right, so it's, it's the focal length that you want. You may have it all built into one lens and that's a great walk around lens and that may work for you as well. You're going to want to be able to uh, go down maybe some alleys, but certainly it's the street, it's the dwellings, it's the architecture, and it's everything that goes along with that. Let's take a look at how we can capture some abstract sort of images using buildings as the canvas. So we can see right off the top what we're trying to accomplish here is taking a look at roofs, the line of the roof. So I'm calling them roof lines. Now, what we're trying to do is, it's sort of a pseudo abstract project, but what we're trying to do is isolate interesting and very definitive type of roof lines. And I think in this first shot, you see where I'm trying to go with this. It's a little bit of uh, extraction, abstraction, that kind of thing. But of course, we've got the color, we've got the texture, we've got depth of field. I was using a, a, an aperture of f16 for this so that I could have that on with my telephoto lens, by the way, my 70 to 20 millimeter lens, I had it set at 200 millimeters. So you see what I was trying to do here, standing back and isolating what I thought was an interesting set of roofs. Here, really getting in on it and forming an abstract image. I've just isolated a part of a roof that I thought was kind of interesting because of the, the way it was, the angles of it. Texture again, not so much color except from the sky. You could have turned this one to black and white. Maybe that would have worked too. But anyway, extraction, abstraction. Here, straight on. Now we're talking about all the things we had before we're also talking about symmetry here. That cloud is not there by mistake. Well, it actually is, but I captured it at that time. While it was kind of centered, you have the different angles of the roofs almost pointing up towards that cloud. Um, the roof is taking up about half of the image, maybe just a little bit less, but the cloud is working there with the angles of the roof line. And you have to look for stuff like that. I mean, clouds can also get in the way. I took images where the clouds were, were bothering me. I didn't want them there. But that one just happened to pop in at the right place at the right time. And there it is. Here, an interesting roof. Almost looks like the, uh, a castle or something like that. Just a portion of a roof. Here, obviously the color and the texture. The red against the blue sky and the texture of the roof as well. And the shape, the different shapes of the uh, shingles uh, on the roof too. Notice on the right hand side there, 
they, they actually change in shape. Again, ruined, I think, by the uh, satellite dish. Now, I could have easily taken that out in Photoshop. I wanted to leave that there just to show you that there are elements to these things that can sometimes, what I think, ruin the image a little bit. But the rest is really uh, is, is interesting. Or isolate just a part of the roof, a dormer window on a roof, on a sloping roof. It's curved. You can see the curve as it's coming towards you and isolating it. I was careful to put the dormer window off to almost two thirds in the image just to give it a little relief. I could have centered it, of course, but I wanted to leave it off to the left just a little bit. That was just a little bit of a choice on my part. The color obviously plays uh, a role in this and even the texture, you have the rivets and things like that. An old building, it's abandoned. The sky is actually playing a part in this. Those clouds are kind of, kind of neat. But again, it's the roof line. It's those angles again, back and forth and back and forth. And of course, the texture of the aged wood itself. Roof lines, a chilly roof line, cold, winter, ice, snow, icicles. But in amongst all of that monochromatic feel, there is color as you have the green and the red popping out, capturing your attention, hopefully anyway. Now we looked at this before in, in the architecture of the city. I just wanted to throw a few of these in. Again, roof lines at different angles, making for interesting uh, images to be sure. And you can also use something like this, which is just a gazebo, the roof of a gazebo, but of course, the bare trees in front offer a little bit of a different perspective on things. As I was using, again, a telephoto setting of about 180 millimeters to capture that one. And finally, uh, just to show you some roofs in Spain. You can do that too. So taking a walk around your neighborhood, looking up, hey, it may yield some interesting images for a photo essay, let's say. Until next time, I'm Ray Scott reminding you, it's not what you see, it's how you see it. And I'll see you soon.